Incredible news! Jenna Tishwam's saving lives change healthcare. The term cancer gives us all a chill down our bodies. This is because the diagnosis of the disease is in itself a kind of a death sentence. However, if the diagnosis is done at its earlier stages, the possibility of getting cured increases several folds. And one such method has been studied and tested by a Japanese company that can detect pancreatic cancer at a very early stage using some kind of a worm. In this video, we will talk about the new study done in Japan whereby they can detect early forms of cancer using a specific form of worms. We will discuss everything in detail, so make sure you stick with us till the end of the video. Hello tech nerds, welcome back to AI Future Life, a versatile YouTube channel where we bring you the latest updates on stock, science, finance, artificial intelligence and many more important things. Before we proceed to our topic, subscribe to our channel and keep following us by clicking the bell icon. So without further delay, let's get straight into the subject. Let's begin. What is pancreatic cancer? Pancreatic cancer originates in the pancreas's tissues, an organ situated behind the lower section of the stomach and the belly. Your pancreas generates chemicals that facilitate digestion as well as produces enzymes that facilitate the digestive process. As a result, the pancreas can be affected by a variety of tumors, both malignant as well as non-cancerous. The most frequent type of pancreas cancer starts in the cells lining the channels that transport digestive enzymes from the pancreas, pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. Pancreatic cancer is rarely identified early on when it is most treatable. This is due to the fact that it frequently does not present symptoms until it has migrated to certain other organs. Cancer's stage determines treatment choices for pancreatic cancer. Chemotherapy, surgery, radiation therapy or an amalgamation of these may be used. The worm involved in the study of Canorhabditis elegans, C. elegans. Canorhabditis elegans or C. elegans is a tiny soil dwelling worm that measures about 1 mm in length. This worm is characterized to be non-pathogenic, non-hazardous, non-infectious as well as non-parasitic small roundworm. According to researchers, these worms have a highly distinctive and potentially life-saving ability. In addition, C. elegans has a remarkable ability to detect cancer-related odors. When it pertains to detecting cancer before it grows and progresses to later stages and becomes more difficult to cure. Timely identification is crucial. The potential of dogs to detect biomarkers in the breath and the stool of individuals with the breast, lung, ovarian, skin and bladder cancer has been discovered. In addition, C. elegans has previously shown sensitivity affinity, chemotaxis to tissues, human cancer cells, as well as urine from gastric, colorectal and breast cancer victims. A C. elegans cancer diagnostic test successfully recognizes pancreatic cancers in mice, according to a 2019 research report in OncoTarget in 2021. A group of researchers from Osaka University and Hirotsu Bioscience Incorporated set out to apply this medical strategy to human pancreatic cancer diagnosis. Aromatic check employing Canorhabditis elegans to screen for early stage of pancreatic cancer was their research agenda. That was published on the cover of OncoTarget's Volume 12, Issue 17 and was titled Scent Test Using Canorhabditis elegans to Screen for Early Stage Pancreatic Cancer. The Study Hirotsu Bioscience Incorporated, which is a Japanese biotech company, has devised a cancer screening test based on genetically altered roundworms that can spot early indications of pancreatic cancer just from a drip of urine. The study's primary aim was to work on this and further impede upon improving routine screening. According to scientists, people with cancer have bodily fluids that smell different from those of healthy individuals who have conditioned canines to recognize the illness in the breath and urine samples. Hirotsu Bioscience, on the other hand, has genetically altered a worm known as C. elegans, which is about a 1mm in length, and with a keen sense of smell, it has been found to have a tendency to react to the urine of persons with pancreatic cancer, which is notably hard to determine early, because pancreatic cancer is usually found once it has grown and treatment choices are limited. This particular technological innovation is a significant step forward for cancer research. This implies that the notion that the diagnosis of cancer is a life sentence for the great majority of patients may well be transforming in the identification of pancreatic cancer and maybe some other types of cancer, thanks to the very accurate, innovative test. In this pilot research conducted by the Japanese company, 83 people with pancreatic cancer from Japanese clinics took part. Age, pathological progression, 
sex, CEA values, CA199 values, as well as urine samples, were all taken from the participants. All of the data were analyzed statistically. The C. elegans fragrance test was used to examine many concentrations as well as pre- and post-surgery urine. The scientists used N-Nose, a well-known olfaction analysis method, with a simple chemotaxis observation apparatus, nematode nose. So the setup of the study was such that the urine of the patients was deposited in two areas, on one end of the assay plates and sodium azide was added in two spots on both sides. For 30 minutes, the nematode worms were situated in the middle of the plates and then were observed. C. elegansis engaged behavior toward favorite odors reported a positive chemotaxis index. Next, the samples were tested and evaluated to see if any significant peaks in average chemotaxis indices were present. They discovered that C. elegans were drawn to cancer-related smells, and therefore this chemotaxis index may be used to diagnose the initial stages of pancreatic cancer. The Results the company analyzed the nematode's smell receptors, as well as uncovered a gene that exclusively responds to the urine of pancreatic cancer patients, as per a recent study that was published in the peer-reviewed journal Oncotarget. As per the study, it was observed that when the gene is actually disabled, then the roundworms are drawn to the urine of people with stomach, lung, and other cancers. However, not to the urine samples of those with pancreatic cancer. Furthermore, in separate tests conducted by the firm, the nematodes were able to distinguish all 22 urine samples from pancreatic cancer patients, even those that were in the initial stages of infection. According to the Japanese Times, the company says that this technology is completely accurate in identifying pancreatic cancer as well as 91.3% accurate for the other types, though additional research is needed until it can be said with certainty. It's also worth noting that these tests aren't meant to detect pancreatic cancer. Rather, they're meant to enhance routine screening because collecting urine samples is simple and doesn't involve a visit to the hospital. The technology needs to be validated further, but the experts think that utilizing C. elegans to diagnose pancreatic cancer early can undoubtedly be predicted in the coming years, according to Medscape. The potential to change healthcare. The scientists were upfront about the study's flaws. The authors first noted that the small number of participants who were included. Second, the researchers indicated that it's uncertain whether the fragrances recognized by the C. elegans were derived directly from cancer or the diseases produced by decreased pancreas function. Notwithstanding this, according to researchers, chemotaxis assays are often used to identify various forms of cancer. Furthermore, the cancer detection system's cutoff value for initial PDAC is still identified. Overall, the new studies have shown that patients with the initial stage of PDAC had increased C. elegans chemotaxis, indicating that it could be used as a convenient tool for identifying early-stage cancer. Nonetheless, the fundamental mechanisms for this chemotaxis need to be elucidated to gather knowledge that may aid in understanding cancer's basic properties. These observations are per the article in the peer-reviewed journal Oncotarget. The reaction by various people. CEO Takaki Hirotsu, a former researcher who researched the small worms, told AFP, this is a big technological accomplishment, and he hopes it will raise cancer detection capability in Japan, which, like many other nations, saw screening rates decline as people developed a tendency to neglect medical appointments during the pandemic. In addition, as per OECD data, Japanese people attended cancer tests less frequently than their counterparts in industrialized nations well before the pandemic. This is going to be a game changer. First, people's attitudes towards cancer screening must alter, according to Eric Di Lucio, who is the research director of the firm. Using the worms seemed promising, according to Tim Edwards, who is a senior lecturer in the psychology department at the University of Waikato in New Zealand. He has already examined dogs' ability to identify lung cancer. Edwards, who certainly is not involved with the Japanese company, pointed out that the worms, contrary to dogs, did not require any training to detect cancer in people. The method is unconventional in nature, according to David Kollerick. He is an associate professor at the Australian Center for Cancer Glycomics and a type of method that could be the possible reason why this has failed to receive greater attention. He further said that, in his opinion, they should pursue every reasonable method to develop as well as identify tests which can assist us in detecting cancer as soon as is practicable, he stated to the AFP. So this is all about the recent study in Japan, whereby worms are developing the possibilities to save lives and bring about a change in healthcare. Comment what you think about this study. Don't forget to like and share with the others if you like this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the notification bell on to be the first one to watch our videos.
We'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.